Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at osmoregulation, but we're going to split it up into two parts. The first part we're going to focus on is the kidneys. Okay, so if you're wondering where your kidneys are, if you were to place both your hands on your hips, the location of where your fingers are should be roughly where your kidneys are found. Now most people are actually born with two kidneys, but you can survive with just one. Those who have only one kidney need to have dialysis. Okay, so your kidneys does three very important jobs. First job being the removal of urea from the blood, production of urine, and as I've already stated, osmoregulation as well. Now the kidneys are involved in excretion, primarily of urea. So what urea actually is, it's a poisonous waste product and it's made within the liver. What happens is when we eat proteins, proteins are made up of amino acids. If we've got an excess of proteins, then they need to be broken down and gotten rid of. So the excess proteins are broken down into their individual monomers, which are amino acids. Uh, these are then converted into ammonia for a process known as deamination. That's then converted into urea, and then urea is released into the blood where it travels around the body until it's removed by the kidneys. Now we're gonna look at the structure of the kidneys. And as you can see, each kidney is connected to two blood vessels. You've got the renal vein, which carries blood away from the kidney, and you have a renal artery which carries blood towards the kidney. You've also got the ureter as well, and that is where the waste or the urine is transported out towards the bladder. Okay, so if we then look at a cross section of a kidney, you can see here you've got one individual kidney, and you can see it's basically split up into two parts. You've got the outer part, which is known as the cortex, which is this bit here. And you've also got the inner part, which is known as the medulla, which is this bit here. If we take an even closer look, you've got a single kidney tubule here. Now a kidney tubule, or one tubule, is actually known as a nephron. And here you've got the structure of a nephron here. This is the collecting duct, and this leads towards the ureter and the bladder. And here you've got the distal convoluted tubule. This bit here is known as the loop of Henle. Here you've got the proximal dilated tubule. And here you've got the Bowman's capsule. And this mass of capillaries here is known as the glomerulus. So as you can see here, you've also got the renal artery. And what happens is the blood containing urea and other waste substances passes through this massive capillaries here. And what happens is the water, glucose, urea, salts, and everything actually comes out, minus the red blood cells, of course. As it passes through the proximal tubule, some useful substances get reabsorbed, so they pass back into the blood. So that's things like water, glucose, and some salts as well. Down here in the loop of Henley, some of the water also passes back into the blood. And we'll focus on this when we look at osmoregulation. So blood which has had the urea and other waste substances removed then heads back towards the renal vein, while the products which are left within the tubule forms urine. So it dissolves in water and it forms urine. And that goes towards the collecting duct and out towards the ureter and bladder.